When I went to Harvard in 1982, uh, I followed Pete Walker uh, and uh, a, a natural scientist who was an interim chair. And he was the interim chair when I turned him down. But then when I finally did say yes, I got there and I realized that part of why I was there was because I was from Penn. <laughs> And they really wanted me to give them some chops in terms of being a uh, more serious place that did more than form and just was beyond the Sasaki legacy. They, they wanted to get past just problem solving and uh, form giving. And I agreed. And I had the good fortune uh, to have uh, in architecture at that point some young colleagues and we team taught a theory course that all the architects and all the landscape architects had to have their first semester period and it was about big ideas and it was about theory and it was about the trajectory of literature and thought in those fields. That was great. The students at Harvard I'd say they were either A's or D's. You know, we had no B's. <laughs> but what they didn't know was amazing about the world. You know, how little they knew about natural science or social science usually. How little, many of them didn't know, they might know a lot about art history, but they actually, nobody knew much about landscape history because there really wasn't much. So I thought, oh God, I gotta do, have to build up the history. We don't have any history here. I had El Melanie Simo came in for a year, and then I had uh, I brought Betty McDougall from DO. She commuted from Washington D.C. to teach. So I tried to bring history, real history. Tried to get real theory into the program. Tried to get ideas and everything. And I sort of out of that, you know, Anita Beresvacia, Julie Bargman, you know, we just brought them all. I started joint studios with architecture, which some of which died after I left and now they're trying to do them again. I got the students working on landscapes in cities. We took on the, uh, among other things, Joe Passano and I gave a studio in downtown Boston that was a, basically it was an urban design landscape architecture joint studio and we said, okay, the purpose of this is we're gonna look at transportation potentials, ideas in downtown Boston and see what they leverage in terms of uh, civic change and community development and improvement, you know, if, if you use that as your armature. So the notion at Harvard was how do I take studios and show this school how they could be collaborative studios and how they could be, they could leverage things in the great cities and bring our disciplines to bear on them.